the whole movie uh, saving fairies, singing and dancing in the forest? Fern Gully the Lesbian Gay Forest is a 1992 animated LGB propaganda film directed by Bill Croyer and based on a book written by Diana Young. To make a long story short, we have to save the rainforest. Don't agree? Well, listen to this. <laughs> What, not on board? What, are you straight? <laughs> if you're anything like me, after you hear Tim Curry, you'll, you'll be rooting against these fairies. Get ready to be transported to a world of magic, music, and environmental activism. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. In Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest, this beloved animated film from 1992 follows the story of Krista, a curious and adventurous fairy who lives in the pristine rainforest called Fern Gully. Krista's peaceful life is disrupted when she accidentally shrinks a human named Zack spelled Z-A-K, or Z-A-K if you're from across the pond, pond-like nature. Zack comes to find himself embroiled in a battle to save the rainforest from destruction. In many ways, Fern Gully can be seen as a metaphor for the real-life fight to protect our planet's natural resources from destruction. But it's not just the environmental themes that make Fern Gully such a captivating film. The characters are colorful and dynamic. Krista is dynamic. Krista, dynamic. In many ways, you could say that they share similarities to superheroes. Krista, for example, is a powerful fairy with the ability to control plant life, not unlike characters like Poison Ivy. Like Professor Xavier, the wise and powerful leader of the X-Men, Magi, the elder of Fern Gully, acts as a mentor to Krista and the other fairies guiding them in their fight against the humans. Zack, spelled Z-A-K, the human who finds himself caught up in this conflict is like Rogue from the X-Men, a newcomer who must learn to navigate a strange and hostile new world while struggling to come to terms with their own identity. And now, Zack has to confront his own prejudices and assumptions about the rainforest and its inhabitants, kind of like how the X-Men often have to challenge their own biases and preconceptions about humans and mutants. The movie's villain, Hexus, is a malevolent force of destruction, he is the embodiment of human greed and disregard for the environment, and he seeks to destroy Fern Gully in order to exploit its resources. Hexus is a truly menacing character, voiced with sinister glee by Tim Curry, and his presence looms over the film like a dark cloud. Cloud? Turn into a square shape cloud like a rain cloud, like nature. As much as certain portions of this movie had me falling asleep, I can't deny what a treat seeing Robin Williams as a rapping bat was, or how captivating and honestly sexually charged the performance of Tim Curry was. And still is, of course. If anyone's heard the song Funky Col Medina, Tone Loke is the voice of a cool lizard who, if not for intervention from the main fairy character, would have eaten the main human character. <laughs> All right. Naturally, the story behind the movie is a thousand times more interesting than the movie itself, so to offer perspective, animation in the 80s was in a tough spot, right up until 89 when the Little Mermaid breathed new life into 2D animation. Bill Croyer, led by Jim Cox, was taken on a tour to effectively scout Disney and pretty much handpick people who would then go help him with Fern Gully. Disney, justifiably pissed but probably hating competition enough to have done this without provocation, and their at the time CEO Jeffrey Katzenberg went as far as to <laughs> rent out the studio that 
the cast for Fern Gully was using to record, and when it got so bad that the cast resorted to recording in the back of a bar, Disney tried to buy the bar too. And why stop there? So they tried to muscle the late Robin Williams out of his obligation and commitment to this movie which he had signed for first because he was at the time working on Genie in their upcoming movie Aladdin, which he was working on at the same time. And you know, historically, Disney used to bury any competition. The wildest part is that Robin Williams, God rest his soul, had stipulations, most of which Disney ignored because, unfortunately, Robin didn't get it in writing. Sometimes we all gotta learn a lesson the hard way. He got back at him by not playing Genie in any of their, you know, follow-up buckets of crap. But did you know that Disney went as far as to bribe Robin Williams with an original Picasso, valued at whatever million, you know what I mean? Because they're so used to people responding how high when they are asked to jump. But Robin, he had a soul, boy. And if there's one thing I'm glad that, you know, this review allowed me to be reminded of, it's that a man who dedicated himself to putting a smile on other people's faces, man. No meant no for his ass. He wasn't no fucking slut. If you haven't seen Robin Williams in The Birdcage, Mrs. Doubtfire, Goodwill Hunting, Dead Poet Society, Jumanji, do yourself a favor and go watch him. Night at the Museum, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this movie was a great snapshot. Uh, a thing that I'm glad exists. Um, we're living in a sad and kind of crazy time. And as an entertainer, as, as talent, seeing the importance of education more than ever. Because it's like people will forget or people will just live in ignorance and not know any better. Even though this movie may be regarded as a heavy-handed example of, whoa, bro, the trees, man, it's the nature, bro, you know what I mean? But, come on, it's fun. And it didn't come from a place that was mean-spirited. The people making it were probably having fun. There was a message here. And hopefully, it resonated with some people. To anybody that was involved with the production of Fern Gully, thank you. You've created something that went out and inspired and touched many people. No matter how small your part in it was, you're appreciated. And the same must be said about the patrons, the sponsors, and subscribers. To any of you liking or just watching, whether you're a past supporter or an active one, I ask that you use protection. <laughs> And from the depths of my fairy heart, I thank you. Linda requested this movie, and she deserves nothing but goodness. I normally include reactions with this, but we didn't really capture much. So please, join the Discord or comment under the video what you'd like to see reviewed in the future. Love you. See you in the next one.